Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Hollywood Studios. I'm gonna be meeting up with a friend and we have dining reservations at Mama Melrose Ristorante Italiano for some good food. And then also I'm in the market for a new lightsaber because I have a huge trip announcement that I can't wait to announce for you guys that I'm gonna be needing a lightsaber for. And we're gonna ride some rides, eat some food, and just have a beautiful Hollywood Studios kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. It's a good day to be at Hollywood Studios today and I'm excited to ride some rides and do a little lightsaber shopping. And then also Mama Melrose, I haven't been there in forever and I wonder if they have any new menu items. I was just at Hollywood Studios last week and it was so busy here. There were four attractions with a 100 plus minute wait and it was a Saturday. So I'm hoping since today's Wednesday, the wait times are gonna be a lot lower, but we'll check them and see what they're like and hopefully we're gonna ride some rides. And I guess a good way to start the day is to check out the wait times. Looks like Rise of the Resistance is 110 minutes, Smuggler's Run is 55, Slinky Dog Dash is 80 minutes, and Toy Story Mania 60 minutes. So it still seems like a busy day, but not as busy as like a Saturday. So we might actually get on some rides. Today's Genie Plus is $18 for the day. If you guys didn't know, it's not a flat $15 anymore. It depends on the day and how busy it is. And it can go from $15 to $22. So that means it's $18, so it's kind of right in the middle there. And we're not gonna be using that today. We're just gonna see you know, what we can get done without using Genie Plus. And I'm excited. Like I said, it's a beautiful day out and I'm ready for some Hollywood Studios. I do want to take a second to convey to you guys how beyond excited I am for the return of Fantasmic. November 3rd, it's coming back. A journey beyond your wildest imagination, and I am so excited. Like, this is one of my all-time favorite nighttime spectacular, and I've missed it so much. So, I can't wait for it to be back and be able to watch it multiple times, probably. The reason I like Fantasmic so much is because it's completely different than any of the other nighttime shows like Harmonious or Enchantment because instead of just, you know, camping out a spot, you know what I mean, for a while, you actually go to a designated area. There's bleachers, you sit down, and there's like pump-up shows and the music, and it's just a much more chilled like relaxed environment and I love that like just I remember sitting there sometimes with popcorn or a beer and it's been some of the most relaxing moments of my life where I'm just sitting there and just wow this is a great time and I can't wait to have that feeling again but now it's time we made our way down to Mama Melrose Restaurante Italiano. This is actually a really fun restaurant and I feel like it doesn't get a lot of attention. It's tucked away, it's tucked back behind the Muppets area. And uh, I mean, it's Italian food and kind of reminds me of the last like remnant thing of Backlot, you know? They actually have a little bit you can see peeking over this wall over here, I'll try to show you. I really miss Streets of America, and of course during the holiday season, I really miss the Osborne lights, and I'm an Eisner guy. I mean, I loved Michael Eisner, and it's so sad that it's gone, but there's a lot of new things, and we've got uh, Star Wars land, and we got Toy Story land, but man, I wish that was here, especially this year. I would love to just spend uh, the holidays on Streets of America watching all the dancing lights. How amazing would that be? But you can see right back here next to Mama Melrose, they've got some apartments for rent in the building back there. And here's the restaurant itself. So we're gonna head on in. I'm gonna give you guys a look at the menu. Ooh, and did you guys know they have a magic shop on top there? Yeah, I just noticed that sign there. That's really cool. Now you see it, now you don't magic shop. One thing I love about this restaurant is that there's a little backstory to it. Mama Melrose uh, was someone who was aspiring to be a Hollywood star, and she moved to California so that she could, you know, become an actress. And uh, in the meantime, she opened up a little restaurant in a backlot warehouse where this restaurant is at. And when she did that, she realized her real passion was cooking and making food. So we're in a warehouse setting, and it's got a whole bunch of different props from movies, some Christmas lunch and uh, it's her you know passion food and I like that you know what I mean it adds into the backlot studios and MGM studios and it's a lot of fun I'm glad it's still here 
here is a look at the menu and it's actually really good food there's a little bit of a reflection or glare on it for appetizers they've got calamari they've got minestrone they've got some meatballs and flatbreads and then for entrees they've got a charred strip steak they've got uh, oven baked chicken parmesan some spaghetti and meatballs mama's italian pasta a lot of good stuff a grilled bone-in pork chop and of course dessert you got the tiramisu tiramisu or the mini cannoli trio that actually sounds really good a trio of cannoli all right it's time to head on in we're going into the warehouse full of props and look you can see all the lights in here it's really just a beautiful restaurant i know it probably gets out of focus a little bit look at this in here now that we're at our table i want to show you some really cool like props in here and old photos of mgm studios all around the restaurant you'll actually see different photos that were taken in the park and look at this one look at michael eisner with george lucas i mean that is so cool and then down here you have a couple more the crossword sign look at this and they're actually all over the place you just got to look for them i want to see if we can see some more on this side i really love it this is definitely something you won't see in a lot of places because most of everything that was MGM Studios is gone. But look at that. I get so excited. Look at this picture of Lou Ferrigno with Mickey Mouse and he's putting his hands in probably what would be over by the Chinese theater. That's awesome. A little original Hulk there. Of course, coming to Mama Melrose, you got to get the spaghetti and meatballs or Mama's pasta. So I got the spaghetti and meatballs, and then we got a little flatbread to start off with. You know what I mean? A little flatbread, a little spaghetti and meatballs. That's amore. <laughs> I met up with my friend Meg, Mickey's Magic, and uh, we're ready for some Italiano. Yeah? Yes. Spaghetti and one meatball. One meatball. You guys don't know, I'm sure. If you guys watch my videos enough, you know that I always like to say one meatball. Well, I want to introduce you to the person that introduced me to the one meatball. And that is Mag right there. Here is a look at the flatbread. Got myself a little slice. They're very tiny. Like, it's not that big of a flatbread, but I do like the crust on there. It does look nice. So, kind of excited. $16. For that tiny thing? Yeah. $16 but it doesn't look like no. a flatbread it looks like a uh, yeah like a like an individual personal pizza look at this little thing isn't it so funny looking I mean I could probably eat this like one slice in one bite should I I don't know like one just one bite <laughs> This is actually a nice little pizza. I wouldn't call it a flatbread though, because like I said, it's more individual, but it's so tiny. So like the slice, I don't know if you guys realize, it's like literally like that big. And uh, $16, I mean, it's an appetizer. It's a fork for size. A fork for size. So a slice of pizza is a half a fork. Like three quarters of a fork? Three quarters of a fork. I think we just developed a new measuring style. Enough of the pizza business. The entrees have arrived. And I think I messed up. <laughs> like, when I see the table and I see everyone else's food, I'm like, what did I do? Because I wanted the spaghetti and meatballs, but I didn't want spaghetti, so I got the penne. But everyone else's dishes look amazing. As you can see, we got Mama's Italian pasta right here with chicken, which looks amazing. And then, Meg, you got the same thing, but without chicken. Yeah, and look they, at said, that. they said, too, if you have an allergy, like, this is friendly for a lot of allergies, but they said the, the sauce had butter in it, so they could have omit the butter from the sauce. So. It looks so good. And then look at mine. Now, beware. <laughs> <laughs> Mine literally looks like a cafeteria style. <laughs> like, I, think it's the I think it is the penne because I got penne instead of spaghetti, but I should have got the fettuccine. Look at this. <laughs> it looks so funny. But I mean, hey, maybe, you know, I'm ready to dive in. I mean, I just kind of, I'm kind of laughing about it. All right, might as well dive in. I ended up getting four meatballs. Not one meatball, four meatballs. <laughs> but this meatball looks distorted a little bit, doesn't it? It's not perfect. It's just, it's, it's so yeah. It's just special. 
It's a special meatball. I don't know if you guys can see it too much. Yeah, there you go. Kind of looks like a little character. It does. It looks like it has ears. Doesn't it? <laughs> All right, so we're going to go in. Try it. One meatball. So after trying the pasta itself, the meatball is good. The sauce on its own is just kind of bland. And I probably should have stuck with the fettuccine, but mama's pasta i did try some of that and it is good very garlicky very oily you said right like an oily pasta yeah it's like there's huge like like here's an entire like roll of garlic ah. and they cut up like a bunch of different artichokes it's like a it's pretty salty too but you know, i liked it i, I thought it was good the, yeah it's like the roasted tomatoes are really nice next time i'm sticking to mama not the meatballs <laughs> Next time, I'm definitely getting Mama's Italian pasta. And for dessert, I saw these cute little cupcakes go around. And it looked like it was like a spaghetti and meatball cupcake. And I think it's on the kids menu, but I think I want to get one. I don't care, right? They looked adorable. <laughs> Look at this. It's a little tiny kid cupcake and it's so awesome. I really do love it. And it looks like, you know, one meatball and it's got the sauce there. And this is a chocolate truffle. And I can't wait. I don't even, it's so delicate though. It's so tiny. I can't take it off the plate. Look at that. That is so clever. All right, here we go. I'm going all in. Wow. Wow, that's good. Holy moly. Oh, there's a little tiny spaghetti in there too. I can't believe it, but that was only $3 for that little tiny cupcake. And you see you got chocolate on the inside there. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening right now. But it was a $3. It was the best $3 dessert I think I've ever had at Disney. All right, enough of Mama Melrose. But I did love it there. I mean, I love the meatball. I love the atmosphere. The marinara sauce just wasn't doing it for me. The cupcake, though, now that was precious. It was a precious little beauty. And next time I know, got to get the Italian pasta. Now we're going to make our way over to Galaxy's Edge. And before I was talking about, uh, I got a big trip announcement. And some of you guys may already know, but... I'm heading to Las Vegas. I'll be in Vegas. I think I leave tomorrow, actually. And we're going out there for the uh, When We Were Young Festival, which I am so excited to attend. But most importantly, I'm going to be a part of Mosh Eisley, which is the biggest emo Star Wars Halloween party. And that is what I need a lightsaber for. And I do have my Mace Windu one. That's the only one that I personally have. But I was looking to get another one. So we're going to do a little shopping, head into Star Wars Galaxy's Edge and see what they got, but I'm so excited for the Vegas trip and I can't wait to make a video and show you guys because it's gonna be an amazing time. Meg just got super excited because she spotted the stormtroopers and she's got the stormtrooper bag on. That is affirmative. Suspicious activity may result in your detention. Excellent. Oh, Excellent! <laughs> <laughs> How awesome is it to see the characters just walking around Galaxy's Edge again? You know what I mean? They were gone for a while, but it's great. I wonder if we'll catch Chewie or Ray actually walking around too. Right over here. That is the way. Enjoy the day. We're gonna make our way over to Doc Ondar's now to see about some of the lightsabers. Hopefully it's not a long line, but we'll see once we get there. And here we are. Doesn't look like that long of a line. Not too bad. Here is kind of like a little menu. What do you think, Meg? What, what's going on? You got light side? Oh, light side, dark side. Right. That's right. Yeah? They have the Shadow Ventress one too, which is very cool. Ooh, that does look really cool. Yeah. What one do you have? Um, I got, I have Ray's. You have Ray's lightsaber? Yeah, it's oh. very heavy. Is it? Um, but I held the other day, I held Luke's, Ray's, and Kylo Ren's. I would definitely get any of the dark side though. I want to go dark side. I might want to get the dark saber. The dark saber was pretty cool. I saw a couple of people hold that the other day. Oh, now I'm interested. But even like, um, 
Darth Tyrannus. That one was really cool. Oh boy, lots to choose. Last time I went to get a light tape, I couldn't decide whether or not I wanted to go light or dark. So I ended up with Mace Windu because he pulls, yeah, he, he pulls from both sides. And uh, today I'm gonna have to make a decision. Is it going to be dark side? So you or mean, you haven't built a lightsaber, right? No, well, I like, have built a lightsaber, okay. but not for myself. So what they'll have you do is like close your eyes, and then yeah. they'll have you like picture what kyber crystal you're oh, gonna have, okay. and then that's how you choose, like whatever side you're being drawn to, you choose that color. And so you can choose between green, blue, yellow, and red. <laughs> oh boy, which way will I be pulled? <laughs> When you come in to Doc Ondar's, you're allowed to hold up to three lightsabers to test them out to see which one you want. And uh, look at him back there, the man himself. Look at that. So we're going to do Darth Sidious first, which I'm excited for. All right, Darth Sidious is currently only in one of the hilts that is rechargeable. So if you take off this middle piece right here, there is a charging cable inside of the case. And you would just charge it just like uh, what you guys call a smartphone. And so the activator is going to be right here and you're just going to push right there. Alright. Darth City is here. Ooh. How's it feel in your hands? I like it. It does, it does look better with the short blade. Ooh. Okay, let's do a close up on the blade itself. It's calling to me here. It looks very well, smooth. So yeah, don't jump so quickly. I know, but you know huh. what? They got me with the charging thing. Yeah, it does charge in there. A Get USB charger. The sofa does come with these two hips, just like in Clone Wars. Once you activate this one, you're going to activate the hips on the side right here. Once it's activated, you're going to pull this side button right down. You go for that one, Meg. I like that a lot. Oh. oh boy. Now I'm torn because I like that a lot. That was fancy. Well, this one feels nicer. What? Oh. All right, after trying out a couple of them, I decided on Dark Sidious. Mainly because the dark side was calling to me, but I was heavily influenced by the fact that it is rechargeable, and it's the only one that's rechargeable. And it cost me $220 for everything. Out the door, $220 with my annual pass discount, and I'm excited. I'm gonna open it up and actually put it together real quick. There it is. It's so, oh look at that. Oh, I'm so excited. And I think I just put the thing in, right? Yeah, and then you could just turn it on. <laughs> Ooh. Well, it's on. It's on. There oh. it is. Look at that. Oh man. And I got the short, this 31 inches they yeah. said? Yeah. The I, same size that they have at Sabi's. Yeah, I like the shorter one because it's got the it's got the little tiny. She said though too, if you have any of the hilts or any of the blades from Sabi's that you can interchange them with any of these hilts. So with your mace window one, I don't know how long your mace window one oh, is. Oh yeah. But you can switch them out. And then you can literally just take this little piece off and charge it. I'm happy. I like it. Now that the lightsaber business is taken care of and I'm very happy, time to make our way on the Smuggler's Run. I mean, it's, it's fitting, right? I'm so excited. I can't wait to bring this to Las Vegas with me. I just randomly keep turning on my lightsaber for no reason. <laughs> yeah, I literally just... Like I said, the battery's gonna be dead in no time. <laughs> yep. See? Get out of here and go make Hondo some money! <laughs> well, that was that was something else. Oh, we're going, oh boy! And supervise younglings. I gotta turn it on in here too. <laughs> now we are flying our own ship today. 
Oh boy. We got a bunch of droids with us today, so we're gonna have to go extra hard. Oh, 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 we gotta go up. 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 To fly down. Only one gunner. Weapons are on light. Left pilot. Hit the boost. Boost. There we go. Right pilot. Make the jump to light speed. Punch it, Chewie! <laughs> Time to be serious. Daddy? Yes! Yes! Keep shooting! You're not on to us! <laughs> yes! We got, we got one! Excellent, my friend! Here we go. Well, I am the go Axiom! There we go. Punch it, Chewie. Uh oh. Smugglers Run is always a good time, and I'm glad we got to be pilots. We had the whole entire ship to ourselves, and I uh, keep on playing with the lightsaber. I can't stop. I can't stop and the battery is going to die soon, but that's why I'm happy I got Darth Sidious because it's rechargeable. And now I think we're going to make our way over to Potato Land. Potato Land! We're going to make our way over to Vacation Fun, which is the little short. And the next show starts in five minutes. And after the show, we're going to be able to visit Potato Land. And I love coming to this show. It's actually really, really good. If you guys haven't sat down and watched it, you're going to love it. Also, I like the painting here. It's uh, basically a Mickey. Look at all the painting in here. I really do love sitting down and watching this show. And I like the theater, too. The theater is very comfy. Look at the back of the seats. <laughs> got done with the vacation fun it's time we make our way to potato land and also do you see how mickey brought pluto on vacation i wish i could do that with gracie potato land potato land potato land potato land potato land so meg is gonna post the full video on her tiktok but look at this <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Me and Meg do Potato Land every time she comes down. It's kind of like our little tradition. So make sure you guys go check out the TikTok she posts. Uh, it'll be at Mickey's Magic. And follow her on uh, YouTube too, Mickey's Magic. And I just love it. It's so fun. Potato, potato, potato. We're going to go from Potato Land to Ogre's Cantina. 
What a switch up. So this is gonna be kind of fun because you guys know I have my lightsaber with me and inside the cantina they do not like lightsabers on. So they actually yell at you if you turn it on. So I'm gonna try to hand it off to Meg and then hit the switch and then leave her holding it so they all come yell at her and she doesn't know what's gonna happen. I just love coming in here. Good music, good drinks. The atmosphere is awesome. Look at this. <laughs> Gotta go with the gold squadron. Look at that head right there. I'm gonna have it all over my nose. Oh, look at that. So good. <laughs> The cantina is always a good time, but now I think it's appropriate since we did just about everything else here at Galaxy's Edge. We got a lightsaber, we rode Smuggler's Run, and now might as well head on into Rise of the Resistance. And the wait time is not that bad, actually. Look at this. 60 minutes, and there's nobody on the outside queue, so that is actually a really good sign. Small craft heading our way. Raise the shields. We have First Order TIE Fighters. We are up. We are up. Blue by taking evasive action. Try to shake it up, Blue. I'm trying, but we lost Blue 5. I'm going to try to drive it away. Copy that. Get us clear so we can make the jump. Be ready. You won't have much time. I'll just be standing in the corner like this. As you have to pray. Is she even allowed to have lightsabers in here? Mm. We'll just have to keep a closer eye on the two of you. Very good. <laughs> good. Well, Gabby, what color are you sitting? Can I ask for you over, over here? here. <laughs> Why do you have a glow stick? It's a lightsaber. Is it? <laughs> yes. Hold it out. From the top of your head, hold it. It's a lightsaber. It must be a training saber. <laughs> All right, we're on our way. Make sure that you have it stowed away safely and carefully. We don't want anything happening to it, and we don't want the first order to catch us because. But I'm bald. It's okay. Thank you. <laughs> Get us out of here, R5. For your safety, please seated with seatbelts securely fastened. Keep hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the transport and supervise your children. Find the norms and the ground. Who picked these two droids anyway? Priority alert. Detention to
interactions on that ride were fantastic. Not just the ride, just all the cast members before the ride. I loved it so much. He called my lights, my lightsaber a light stick. It was really funny. I feel like Dart City just holds it like in a weird way like this. Go, no, it's not a cadaver. <laughs> Do it. Do it, Dark Vader. It's getting dark outside, so I get to like play around with it. Do, do like a. Uh... Oh my god. Oh! Ooh, I feel like a. It looks so nice with the short. Right? Lead. I wish I could. Oh! Look at that! First timer here! First timer! <laughs> And with that, I think we are done here today. I'm so excited, I got my lightsaber. Look at this. And uh, yeah, next video, we're gonna be over in Vegas. My first time, first ever trip to Vegas, so I'm very excited for that. And it was a great day, it was awesome hanging out with Meg. Make sure you guys check out her channel, Mickey's Magic. We've been friends for years, and uh, it's always awesome when she gets to come in town and we get to hang out and spend time together. And uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. The battery didn't die. We'll see you next time. Bye.